Hello again, Mech Warriors. This is Minoxin bringing you drop number two in the Skater 3. Well, 2A. My bad. Skater 2A, the Garth, as I will nickname it, as it is his little creation. I mean, it's a pretty common build with the six medium lasers, but it is his favorite mech, so we shall show it as such. This was actually going to be drop number four. Uh, this is the next day, by the way. Uh, those fellas that we ran into in game number one running the four-man Atlas DDC Lance, well, they were in those other two drops as well, and just so happened that my fraps was being a pain yesterday, and both of those recordings, even though it showed them start, they disappeared shortly thereafter. Well, after clearing up my files and doing some testing this morning, it seems as though this will work. So fingers crossed, keep... Keep uh, hoping for me, of course, by the time you guys see this, it'll have been too late. But hopefully your heart of hearts will be with me and we can get this recorded. Alright, now they are pushing to... Oh, hello. Little light. I'm hoping you're a little light, not like the freaking DDCs I ran into the other game. What are you up to? Well, it kind of sucked. It slid right on top of him instead of... It won't do much with it. Oh, well. We will retreat to five for now. Oh, my God. This thing is so twitchy. New target. I know that's part of why Garth said he loves it so much is because, actually, with this 325 engine in here, you do have a much faster um, torso twist, as I try to make you guys sick, um, torso twist action here than a Jenner. The problem being with that is that as you're running and gunning and such like that, it can be very difficult to track a target just because it's so rapid moving. You almost have to lower the sensitivity like that. But guess what? By lowering the sensitivity, you lose that rapid movement speed that you got. So you're you're <laughs> you're eliminating your own advantage in that way. So if you're a much better mouser than I am, which I'm not that great with the mouse here. Not that I'm good with the joystick, but I prefer nice, slow-moving, low sensitivity like such. That way I can track and fire and keep beam on place. But that is not going to happen. All right, I feel like I should be doing something here. I haven't played any warm-up matches. Well, I did some stuff in the uh, testing grounds. Did some stuff there, played a little bit. Like I've said in the other drop and drops, <laughs> but you didn't hear it. Um, the Cicada kind of plays like a like a heavy fighter is what Garth had told me. You know, you play it like it's a World War II plane that's just a little bit heavier, a little slower moving necessarily, but um, still has good maneuverability. And he's going to get poked and prodded a little bit. Oh, hello. Little fellow. Go home, little birdie. Oh yeah, that's a lot of mechs. Wee-haw! Man, it feels like I'm zoomed in on this thing all the time. Yeah, come on, slide down here after me. Oh, thank God for my armored wing. Oof, okay. Well, I drew a cataphract down the hill. Meh. <laughs> cool, so hopefully that leads into some kind of an advantage for our pushing force here. If it is not already, seems that it might be. Atlas, right shoulder is going to be on my left side. Boom! Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, well, he's dead anyways. Where's that cataphract at? Where'd you get to, you little coward? That was a good shot. CT, CT. And he's down. Good golly, those guys have 20s or what? All right. where Garth would say that an equal skilled pilot in this cicada can outmatch that gener- ah, there, see, I did it. I did it all by myself with no assistance whatsoever, and I sniped that kill. T see, two generefs that have gone down it because of me and only me. I got his leg off. He's not gonna like that. And he's not gonna like that either. Oh, shoot, base. Base, wake up. 
Wake up, Minoxin. Go. Save the base. You move 144. You can do this. Oh, and by the way, we do not have this guy mastered. All we have is... Aw. Missing out on killing something. A hunchback and a raven? Man. I wanted to kill something. Alright, well, we will be the saviors of our team. And get back to base and save the day without hopefully getting cored. Although our back armor is open. I've contemplated shifting a little bit of my back armor back there, but the problem you run into with the cicada is that it does kind of have a magnetic scent of torso. It's not as bad as the Jenner. You know, how, how hard it is to hit a Jenner side torso. But that looked like a relatively larger mech. Quick draw. That'll be interesting. Um, so it does have a relatively magnetic C CT. Uh, you can lose your side torso, but it's not very common that you will, unless you're just running broadside after losing your wing or arm. I always call them wings on this little guy, because that's they're, they're not arms. They don't have hands. They don't have elbows. All right. Yay, we save in the base. Right arm's gonna be on my left side. That'll take off some other weapons. Oh, that'll take off some other weapons. Ooh, right in the crotch. <laughs> okay, well, we won that game. That was at least better than the first one, I think. We'll just have to see. But, uh, felt like I did some good damage, hit several targets, and we did very little. <laughs> oh, we did get two kills, six assists. One of those was complete total snipe. The other one was maybe kind of earned. Um, what else did we get? Four components destroyed, 244 damage, six assists. Not bad, not bad. I will see you in drop number three. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe. Also, if you could take a second and hit that like button, that always helps. I'll catch you next time, Mech Warriors. Minoxin out.